Hello everybody. It's Glenda with Freelands and Friends and I welcome you tonight. I'm back on the porch again. It's really not bad. I mean it's like 40 degree, 40 percent humidity and it's in the 80s so that's not bad. If there was just a little breeze through here it would be ideal. <laughs> But that's okay. I wait till the evening when I come out here because it's just too hot during the day. But now that that mugginess has gone down, we can enjoy this again, relaxing on the front porch for a Monday. Yes, it's Sunday, but I hear, but I know this is going up on Monday. Kind of fun to say that way. Oh, just relax a bit. Ugh, and I'll be there. I'll be back. Hi. <laughs> I figured out a. I, I'm not showing you yet, but I figured out a way to disguise the things, the supports for the whale, and it looks great. At least I think it does. Got a little bit of touch-up paint to do on it, and then I am going to be very happy, I think. And I think you'll be happy with the outcome. Sorry, I can't not swing. <laughs> it's like being in a rocking chair and trying not to rock. <laughs> uh, but I can slow down, maybe. To put more Vaseline on these hooks so that they, the chain doesn't rub so bad on them. So we're swinging quietly again. <laughs> uh, we had a whale of a storm Wednesday night. Well, there's, it was, there's been some trees downed here in town. A couple of, of telephone or electrical poles. Thank goodness we didn't lose any. But our kids lost part of one, <laughs> so trying to figure out a way to get that haul away because they don't have a truck. We've got a van, and it's a pretty heavy-duty van, but we've talked to a friend that has done that kind of stuff in the past. So it's a little big for Joe's trailer because <laughs> he pulls the trailer behind the van, but it's a little big for that, so... And he's had a lot of other stuff he's been doing all week long. And to have to go over there and chop that thing up. <laughs> I think is a little beyond his... What he wanted to do for his last day of vacation. Uh, I just love just... You know me, I'm not going to keep my eyes on the camera when I'm out here. I just, I, my eyes want to wander everywhere and see what everything, even if nothing's happening, I want to go keep looking around to see that everybody's grass is green, even though ours may be weeds or not growing. <laughs> Joe planted those new plant. oh man, those leaves are getting big on a couple of them. And then they're right, some of them are right next to the hostas and they're just going gangbusters. For, for a first year, and I think with those and the hostas, the, the contrast between them is going to be gorgeous. So I just, I, I can't wait for that. Both of them are kind of shade plants. I think this might be a type of hosta, but I'm not sure. They're supposed to have kind of a green and pink. Does anybody watch that popple or popal? I guess their name is popal backyard farm they have the best bucket farm and a lot of it is because he had a bad injury and it was very hard for him to bend over and you know like get the weeds out of the garden and stuff he made the most ingenious trough system for watering his plants and his 
I mean, he's got a whole garden there, including tomatoes and just all kinds of stuff. And then they've got stuff around. And they have these wonderful sculptures in their yard. <laughs> they live right next to a highway. Now that I would have trouble with. They said they wouldn't know what to do otherwise <laughs> anymore because they've lived there so long. But guy biking by with a, I don't know if it's a pet trailer or a kid trailer behind it. Looks like a pet trailer because it's all enclosed. Where a kid's wagon or trailer would be open partly or have that ability. Never mind. It was cute. <laughs> Some ain't mowing. I don't mind those kind of noises. That limb over there just kind of blowing a little bit. Where's that breeze? Come on, breeze. It's only that one limb. Our youngest grandchild, who I have still not got to hold, her name's Andy. They didn't they didn't bother with Andrea because they know it'll be Andy anyway, so they just said Andy. <laughs> A-N-D-I-E. Well, just sit back and relax for a bit. Cross your arms. Oh, think about some place that's so peaceful when it's nice weather, there's no COVID. Oh, you can be whatever age you want to be. I think I'm going to be, oh, let's see. I don't want to go through my teen years again, but 12 would be perfect because I can still just say, Mom, I want to go ride my horse. And she can tell me what chores to do first. I'll do them. And then I get to go ride my horse. And of course, I'm gone for as long as I can be. Because <laughs> I know when I go back, I'm going to have more chores. So I'm riding Topper, and we're in the riding through the pasture. And he can take hills because we take these hills a lot. And he didn't mind jumping over a small little brook or something. I loved him. After I left home, I couldn't keep him. I mean, he was, he, well, he was mine, except that he was, he belonged to the farm when it came to needing him for cattle. So I could call him mine, take him to the fair and stuff. We used to go play in the pasture a lot. We had a nice, we had nice pasture. And when we moved up to, well, Grandma and Grandpa did too. There were a lot of really nice areas to go and just sit, have fun, let the chiggers crawl around us. That part wasn't usually very fun. Go home and put some vinegar on it. <laughs> That didn't sting so bad if we didn't already have them scratched open. If we had them scratched open, then the vinegar did sting more. But it is a wonder the way it can take an itch or a sting away. There's something in it that just neutralizes whatever it is that causes the itching, the histamines or the whatever just kind of neutralizes them. Some people drink or take. They either take, they either put it in water and drink it or they, if they're really brave and used to it, they'll just take a teaspoon and have a teaspoon of vinegar every day, apple cider vinegar. And it's supposed to be really good for you. Good for the digestion and everything. I don't. I love vi I love apple cider vinegar on things. You know, certain veggies and stuff. But I I suppose I could drink some in a glass. 
It wouldn't hurt me. I'd get through it. I'd get used to it. Just don't want to. <laughs> How many of you, if you grew up on a farm, ever went um, ever went swimming or not getting your head underwater probably, but in a horse tank? In a big old round horse tank. Or your sand pile was in an old, a great big old tractor tire. And you had a swing tied to a tree limb and it was a tire. <laughs> had kittens everywhere all outside because that's what they were supposed to do. They were supposed to catch mice. And dogs were to keep, they would be pets. So were the kittens. But they were, dogs were, they had a job too. They could help drive cattle and they could keep the coyotes away. <laughs> and the other nuisance predators. I hope you had a good relaxing time because this is relaxing. This is to make a good Monday. <laughs> Start everybody off on a good Monday. And maybe the rest of the week will sail by, sail by a little easier. It helps me. <laughs> Even if I am doing it on Sunday. And I love to read your comments. I've had some wonderful comments lately. I thank everybody who does comment and I just invite more all, all the time. Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Oh, click on that notification bell. You do want to be notified. And say hi to somebody in some way. Smile if you can and wave. If they're far enough away, just go ahead and smile. And if you're out with a mask, well, according to Carla, smile anyway because it goes to your eyes. <laughs> they can tell by your eyes. So, but do give the wave instead of the handshake. So, everybody's doing the virtual wave these days. Oh, they have said there are good and bad that have come of this year. This, all this stuff that's happened this year. Families have become closer because they've had to. They've had to stick together. So they've become closer. And more people are meeting together around the table for meals. Those are good things. Talking about their day or their plans. Those are all things to be thankful for. So God bless you all. I'm thankful for you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.